I'm with the Black Coalition Fighting Back Serial Murders, and I'm also a co-founder of Every Mother's a Working Mother Network. And there's a reason why serial murderers or serial rapists, like the case of Jack Boken that happened here in the Bay Area, often begin with sex workers. Because it's a population that's criminalized, it's a population that's vulnerable. And if you study the case of serial murderers all across this country, including one who has now returned to Southern California and South Central Los Angeles, a black and brown area of Los Angeles, where at least 50 to 60 women were murdered. And that serial murder has now resurfaced after a 13 year hiatus in the same area of Southern California. But if you look not only at Southern California, but if you look in Washington State, if you look in Fresno, if you look in New Jersey, all across this country, you will find that it is sex workers who are very vulnerable um, because they're seen as easy prey. Because you can't run to the police. You can't get protection. You're vulnerable also to pimps. You know, criminalization empowers pimps. I really want you to remember that. It empowers pimps because it criminalizes sex workers so that anyone that wants to take advantage of a sex worker, whether it's a pimp, a serial rapist, a serial murderer, knows full well that this is a vulnerable population, this is a population of people um, with uh, you know, very, very few rights. And uh, certainly, that is a very compelling reason to support Proposition K. You want to depower primp pimps. You don't want to empower pimps. You want women to be able, not to women and uh, men, sex workers generally, not to be arrested because they're carrying condoms. You know, this is also a health issue. Okay, so I, I think that those are, are some of the, the very, very compelling uh, reasons to support uh, Prop K. Also, there's a racist implementation of the laws. We all know this to be true. Even for uh, sex workers who work on the street, you will have white sex workers who will tell you it is the black and brown women who will first be picked up and who first will be arrested. Why is that the case? This is a period of time and politics for transformation. The Bay Area, San Francisco has led the way, it has led the way on gay marriage. It has led the way for ending discrimination about all, you know, many, many different sectors of society. The trafficking uh, issue is really a non-issue. Though people who are saying that Pro Proposition K will somehow allow trafficking, and unfortunately, some of our feminist sisters have bought into that. But others of us who have been active on women's rights for decades, and not only in this country, but in other, uh, other countries, know that this is totally false. That the raids that have been going on and impacting immigrant women are basically ICE raids. They're similar to the ICE raids that are happening in immigrant communities, not only here in, in San Francisco, but across this nation. But when it comes to immigrant women, and if any of them are sex workers, you know, then they can call it, well, we're just you know, going after traffickers. Well, where are the traffickers that have been arrested? How much money has it cost taxpayers? This raid that happened, Rachel mentioned that uh, yesterday, of having vice squad, you know, a protection racket going on, of vice people uh, from the vice squad hanging out in hotel rooms, you know, very cushy hotel rooms, watching women undress, then having sex with the women and then busting them, and then charging you, each and every one of you in this room, overtime pay, the taxpayers' overtime pay. Well, there's an economic crisis going on in this country, and the millions of dollars used now to criminalize people should be going instead to uplift not only and assist young people and sex workers, but entire communities for childcare and other services that are needed. So we are saying uh, from the Black Coalition Fighting Back Serial Murders and the Every Mother is a Working Mother Network, yes, I'm Prop K. Thank you.